baking in space low gravity must produce the fluffiest baked goods possible. That is a really interesting thought. Like, to bake a loaf of bread, you set the dough in a bread pan and it rises in the oven. But in zero gravity, maybe you only need a small skewer stuck into a ball of dough to hold it in place in the center of the oven as it bakes. And it'll rise in all directions. OMG, cake wars in space you could get all kinds of crazy shapes to actually work when you take gravity out of the equation. You could cook a pizza with toppings on both sides. Like an inverse calzone. Or would it be toppings on one side and the other side is bottomings? In zero gravity, your liquid ingredients would get everywhere and cause a mess. Low gravity, however, might be what you're looking for. Like, erk, the moon has one-sixth the earth's gravity. Sounds perfect for muffins. Edit wow. I made this comment in jest. Thanks for the upvotes through gravity. Edit 2 Apparently, some people thought I was being serious about baking in zero gravity. This was a joke y'all. Calm down. NASA tried baking cookies and it worked. However cookies don't really rise, the oven was a bit strange and the cookies had to be extra low crumble because stuff floats everywhere. Some things are just better down here. At least for now. Shrug until we figured out that artificial gravity thing. Face with tears of joy. Edit fix typo. No more for, fog now. Looks like we need to send Martha Stewart to space ASAP to perfect her baking game. Can you imagine how light and airy her souffles would be in zero gravity? Bake to infinity and beyond rocket man hashtag rocket. Don't know about space. But I remember reading something about cooking deep underwater. The pressure apparently makes everything a trial of chemistry and unconventional methods. Like, you can't even make whipped cream the ordinary way. So it would make sense that it would be problematic the other way around as well. Bread is actually forbidden on orbital spacecraft. The crumbs, and anything else that produces fine dust or particles, are too dangerous because they don't fall to the ground. The hazard is that very small that the electrostatic charge of fine particles would make them accumulate on an inside sensitive, critical electronics. This is the reason why astronauts on the ISS eat sandwiches on tortillas, which are decidedly unfluffy. Dough can't really rise in space because there it's zero g. The gas would just kinda pull together, if I remember correctly. The astronauts have to sleep somewhere well ventilated otherwise they'd suffocate from their accumulated breath. Totes thought it was a different kind of baking at first and was like, yeah it'd prob be dope to be floating around high af lololol. Dude. For years, I have been thinking about, what if we could make bread in space? Like imagine a zero gravity oven or something, or making a piece of bread that doesn't have gravity acting on any part of it so it just becomes the most perfectly spherical and fluffy piece of bread possible. I have been thinking about it forever I want to space bread. At the top of Pike's Peak there is a small restaurant gift shop. They make the fluffiest donuts, absolutely delicious. Not low gravity, but low ambient pressure does the trick. And but space bread might be awesome. That yeast would rise in 360 degree, and just keep growing, and growing, and. I'm no physicist, but does gravity affect the size of the air bubbles that much? Especially compared to atmospheric pressure which is still present in space stations. That's why I want to become and bake the perfect souffle. No it's actually incredibly difficult to do in the first place, but results are similar. Absolutely nothing special about it. I don't know, wouldn't the lack of atmosphere reduce the rising process? I've heard the same about working with molten iron. In atmosphere it oxidizes and slags as it cools which it won't without oxygen, making it harden much better in a vacuum. I think proper heat distribution might be a problem with the hot air not moving where it should and if you use a fan to move it convection oven, you are gonna blow your ingredients all over the place. In Star Trek, a baker could make some great stuff by just telling the computer to set the gravity in their oven to like 10. I think the batter would just climb out of the container because surface tension but the air might stay in it. Or, alternatively, the ingredients mess up your equipment.
your spacecraft malfunctions and prematurely enters Earth's atmosphere causing you to die a horrible, fiery death while eating your fluffy baked goods. What if we make the dough here, bake it in free fall, and eat it at home for the low price of $9,999 per batch? Air pressure is kept relatively low on spacecraft. Gravity is one problem, effective altitude another. A simple solution would be a pressurized centrifugal oven, but that comes with its own share of hazards. That must be how Keynes makes their Texas toast it's like a cloud. Making a three-foot-tall bread with just 500 g of dough isn't a dream anymore. We can use the sonic levitation technique to suspend the muffin in the center while it bakes. You could have an oven that rotates really fast to apply centrifugal for E upwards to increase the fluff. Approaching this from the other end, are there foodstuffs that would benefit from high gravity? NASA orbited a cookie baking experiment a few years ago. Pre made dough was also shipped. IIRC, nobody in orbit got to sample the fresh baked goods, they were shipped back down to Earth. I don't think it would get any fluff actually because the fluff is just air and there is no air in space just a hypothesis. What if I bake something such as a peanut? How would it reach a fluffy consistency? I see a whole solar system of perfectly spherical cakes orbiting and spinning and arm num num num. It would finally give us the opportunity for the ultimate brownie zero edges, all insides. It would finally give us the opportunity for the ultimate brownie zero edges, all insides. Oh wow. Okay this is an amazing thought. I want space bread now. What if you popped open a tube of cinnamon buns and it just kept expanding? Forever? I came up with a startup face with tears of joy launch buns into space and sell them as exclusive ultra-fluffy buns face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy.